Hi there, everyone. I'm JJ Ramberg, and it is time now to answer one of your business questions, which we do exclusively for Open Forum. This month, we are talking about branding. Let's get our panel in here to help us out. Lauren Milan is the founder and CEO of LMB Group, a strategic marketing and advisory firm. She is also the founding partner at Gen Y Capital Partners. And serial entrepreneur Eric Hasabiri is the founder and CEO of Retro Fitness. So good to see both of you. Hey, JJ. Hi, how are you? All right, let's get to the question. It is about how to brand a business of one. Should I advertise myself as a solo person like jaredsamuelson.com or should I uh, advertise myself as a firm? Good question. I think it depends where he wants to go. We did a story a long time ago about this um, fitness guy who worked with kids called Dan the Man, which was great when it was just Dan the Man. But when he grew and he hired employees, every mom in LA wanted Dan. Right, because everyone knew Dan the man. So I'm answering the question for you. Let me let me let you talk. <laughs> okay, Lauren, you're up. I think that from a marketing perspective, it really depends on what your product or your service is. If you are just the workhorse behind the the services of your company, then you can certainly brand it as a company name. But if you are an expert in your field, if you have some sort of thought leadership behind the work that you do, or that you want to have thought leadership behind the work that you do, and that's helpful to you, getting new clients, gaining additional credit having loyalty with your consumers, then you absolutely want to brand yourself as an individual on, on the internet. Um, because then people begin to follow you, and following you then, then converts itself into more But business. you, for instance, have done both. Right? I have at different at different points in my career uh -huh. and for different purposes. So my first company was a vineyard and winery. So of course it wouldn't have really been appropriate for you know the the presence online to be just me. When at the end of the day I really want people to buy this this product. Yep. Um, and so I then became the thought leader behind why I was in the business and creating a new way um, to really to operate a vineyard and winery and to have a wine brand. And then I became more of a brand, and, and so I've evolved in that way now. And so now it's laurenmylan.com um, because I have that level of expertise and experience and thought leadership and also products that have come out of me. Um, the book and TV show and, and other things. It's interesting, right? Ultimately, people want the product, yeah. right? Ultimately, the product is what counts. And so maybe that's what you should be putting forward. Yeah, I mean, to Lauren's point, that, that's, this is right on point, actually. I mean, when you think about it, social media changed this whole game, right? Because personal branding really wasn't a huge thing until like Instagram and mm -hmm. the Facebook and Twitter like kind of put that component out there. So now mm -hmm. it's a whole thing that you have to deal with if you are starting a company. Um, Again, is it is it you the brand, or mm -hmm. is it if you, or do you have a widget? If you have a widget, then you you've got to kind of promote that widget. Right. I mean, it's but you can use yourself as a vehicle to do that, of course. Yeah. If you've got the right. You are an input, but you're not the whole thing. Yeah, I think it comes widget. down to a little bit of like, are you the workhorse behind the company, yep. yeah. or are you the expert that is the company? Right. Like, yep. You know, it's it's think of like an appraiser for your home. Like, are you coming because you just want your house appraised, or are you coming because you want this person to appraise your house? Right, exactly. Example. Martha Stewart. Right, right. You're <laughs> coming to that because you want a piece of her creativity. Right. You don't just want to know how to bake. You want to know how to bake the way she bakes. Right, which just is different. different than retro fitness, where I'm coming there to work out. Right. So building a personal brand sometimes can be problematic if you're a single entrepreneur, you're a single proprietor, and like we just talked about, you have to do everything. Everyone's going to want you. Right. That's yep. that's that's become then. It's and you a get problem. in trouble. You can't you can't grow. Yeah. It's impossible. Right. All right. There's no scale. Great. Fun conversation. Thanks both Could of you. Could be scale. That's a different conversation. Right. Could scale it. That's coming. If next. you become big enough. You should both. Oh, I thought come we were back. talking about cloning. I was like, that's, <laughs> this is going to get really. Okay. Cool. Here's this. Here we go. You guys are going to come back when we do the month on how do you scale, and then we're going to continue this conversation. Cool. Sounds great.